Hello there, Karan here, and in this video, we are going to talk about fat box. So, before telling you anything about what it is, I will run this project. And uh, yeah, sure. So, you can see it says snake, and this kind of games are possible only because of the plugins like bad box so you can see uh, he has created snake game in the console screen which most of the people think cannot do much and uh, yeah i died after getting score of two that's lame but okay i'll exit the game and you can see it is written purely in batch it uses bad box but it is written in batch and that means creating amazing stuff in batch is possible and uh, it's possible only because of amazing tools that a dark badger has created so let's try another one it shows colorful output on the console you can see wow it's pretty fast as well you can see it's quite fast and uh, here he it messed up but i don't know why maybe <coughs> because of the console and uh, we have sprite as well here you can see you can quickly load a sprite and a sprite file not bad it does something can i do something not sure okay so here i prepared a test here uh, it's a small animation kind of thing and you can see here it's my name it's my brother's name and here they collide and i can detect the collision and they can go back here for each movement you can see the coordinates of uh, the first text and the coordinates of the second text and it, right now it seems blinking and slow it is it is not that bad box is slow it is just because of windows defender because it scans every time external exe runs so that's why i tried this plugin in windows 7 where defender is not that much active it worked like a charm but okay no worries and let's see a menu that he has created wow that's also possible quite nice it is i can click somewhere i could not move it i wanted to move it can i move it yes you so here you can see first button and i created i clicked somewhere i can't read it but uh, it did something and uh, these are the examples so how actually this awesome plugin works uh, you can I will provide you a link to download this and the link to the game so you can enjoy it on your own uh, there is a doc file and there must be a doc folder yes there it is and in the text let's say go to English and yeah let's read about bad box so it says bad box is a command is an external command that allows using console graphically but not only it enables also user interactions such as mouse exactly uh, so basically it allows you to put data on different positions with slash g that is go to so you can write slash g x and y coordinate and it will put the text on that particular position let's try that quickly I will go to binary folder here and I will open CMD here. So for the bad box to work properly, you need to turn eco off first and I will increase the size of the screen or the font. So okay. I do not want this console as new. okay so yeah i'm done setting up so let's talk about bad box first it says slash g so if i want to put uh, at a character somewhere here i'll say bad box slash g uh, 20 comma 8 and put data let's say my name there and i want to put it in a color slash c oh insert mode is here 
okay and the color should be 0 cross OA and I will write here data current so you can see I'm combining multiple things here I'm asking it to go to this coordinate then changing the color then writing this down so let's see awesome you can see I it directly jumps to that position and write it down and after that if you want to do something else yeah provide it with the, all the inputs uh, and there is a there is a amazing thing suppose this thing I want to put it in a variable suppose this is a sprite sprite or an image so I will say bad box percentage oh first before that let's set a variable set slash underscore a equals to my line and I will go back and do that and now I will say echo percentage underscore a percentage so you can see it contains this command but it does not contain bad box so I'll say bad box percentage a percentage and it will do exactly what last time as last time that's not magic but now see one thing bread box slash o uh, we did not discuss about this but slash o is amazing it moves the origin of the console so right now the origin is here uh, the top top left it is 0 comma 0 here and we are in the negative coordinate kind of thing uh, but uh, here if I say on a graph if you see we are in a net, net negative coordinate but okay no worries about that uh, don't want to confuse you here let's say bad box let's see I will say uh, minus 20 and uh, I'm never I've never tried this so let's try let's try this for the first time there you go you know why it, it has written current here this text here instead of here the only reason is because the coordinates are changed now so where it should start is now minus to this position so if I want this to be one line down I will write like this the same previous command I will say minus 7 and you see it's going to the next line if I want one step ahead not uh, like this I will say minus 19 so I will say 19 you see there is space now here so that is how basically I show buttons as well in button function and all of the functions and because this plugin allows amazing flexibility and with this version you can also uh, we discuss about slash D data slash g cursor slash c color slash m is also there so you can use it for getting the data input uh, i will say cmd here wow. echo of cls cls bad box slash m and if i click somewhere it will tell me x and y coordinate and the button which i pressed so if i uh, left click on it it will tell me one if I right click here it will tell me two and the coordinate so you can call this uh, with a for loop so for example four slash f percent a in let's say bad box slash m two eco percent a yeah that's I will simply print that so yeah it, it does that uh, I did that because you can loop it over and over again I don't want to confuse you much so slash m just tells the mouse input and slash k gets the keyboard input like instead of slash m it's called bad box slash k and if I press any key now let's say g on my keyboard the ASCII code of G is saved in uh, error level variable so you can get it like 
eco percentage error level percentage so there you go this key was pressed so that is how you can get the keyboard input and mouse input as well slash a lets you print a value directly from ascii codes for example you do not know what it is 103 so what you do instead of bad box slash d g because you know it is g but here you do not know what the user has pressed so what you can do is you can do cls first clear the screen bad box slash a that's denotes that it the next value is a ascii value if you press 103 which was the press button so you can see i i clicked i pressed g next is uh slash w which makes a delay so in between the commands if you want to add delay you can do slash g then uh let me show you a quick working of that so bad box uh slash d k slash w will wait for 300 milliseconds and then slash d a slash w just just for the sake of this video i will create a quick animation with my name because bad box allows this ability to create quick animation it does not mean that you need to do everything like i am doing here manually you can create a smart program which generates all this code okay be smart don't be like me so if i press enter here you can see it gives the typing effect here in the output let's see it once again it looks quite cool awesome so yeah it allows you to wait before doing the next step and slash f turns the console full screen let's try that out for me most of the time this did not work so let's try this way in windows 10 it should work fine yeah it is not working again i tried it a lot but it did not work and same is happening here as well slash s plays a wave file i tried that uh with the previous version it did not work out and i don't have a wave file right now to test it out so yeah explore yourself about this option we discussed that slash h is amazing how let's try that out cls bad box you can see this blinking cursor here which lets you know where you are in the console but it is quite a pain when you create a game like snake like we had this game earlier uh quickly open snake game yes so you see this blinking cursor here it runs with the snake which is a pain which we do not need so it can be simply gone by adding a line here bad box slash h0 so slash h0 means hide the cursor if i press now if i'll play snake game now it should there should not be there should be no cursor you can see there is no blinking cursor now so that's a improvement okay that's how slash h works and uh, yeah next is slash p which changes the console's window mode i'm not sure what it is let's try that out ah okay so if you want to minimize that slash uh, 2 is minimize and okay let's let's read more about it so here bad book uh, dark butcher has given this console let's go into detail don't save that let's quickly go into detail because i want to fully cover this plugin it's amazing awesome plugin here we have console.txt and uh, yeah okay awesome so basically if you want to hide the window you can do that with bad box slash 0 i can hide the window but then i will not have any window to write commands on so what i will do is i will do bad box slash p 0 slash wait for 1 second and slash p again and uh, activate and show the window restoring its original position so i'll press 1 so enter so it's hiding 
awesome so it's hidden for a second and then for a wait for seconds and then it's, it came back you can activate and activate the window and minimize it show it in the taskbar activate the window make it maximize okay let's try a slash 3 make maybe it makes it full screen uh, we'll write here slash p3 again so it will hide it for one second then visit awesome so it worked out slash f did not work but this worked can i try slash f now no it did not work it, it did not work okay and then activate the window without modifying it minimize window okay there are a lot of modes you can see and you can try the, the modes yourself as well so yeah that's pretty much all and this is quite powerful tool if, if you ask me so i do not want to stretch the video longer and uh, yeah thank you so much subscribe like comment and let me know your views in the comments Let's see you next time you take my hand and we'll go away to a different place Float on air and we'll hide away I'll be your escape Look up and feel the shifting